Welcome to the greenhouses, end of November. Let's see what's growing in the greenhouses 2021. Right, where shall we start? Well, the apples. We had a very good apple year this year. We have, we have made apple pie. We've canned apple pie filling, apple crumble we've made. We've canned um, apple sauce. We've made lots of apple juice. And we gave loads of the animals. We ate fresh, so we've got all this, we've still got all this to produce. I think I'm gonna store some and make some more apple juice. Right, what's growing on the top here? So basically now this, we use it once or twice a day. Definitely use it every day, we eat some salad in the breakfast or with the evening meal. So I just usually come out and pinch, always go around and just pinch the outer leaves in a bowl and just mix it up to make a salad. So this is coriander, we grow in coriander, lettuce, endive, some mixed lettuces, dill, lamb's lettuce, and we've got some beetroot, leek, Mm, we've got the elephant garlic notes coming up that need to go to the garden soon. Well, this one should go out now. But I'm just waiting on the rest. And I've got some spinaches, mixed lettuces. Up there I've got some, I think it's parsnip seed. And this is lentil. It's got lentil inside, of lentil harvest. Acacia overwintering the acacia here and I've got some fennel in the back and some more lettuces Gourmet loose leaf salad mix. It's called the pack. So that that's it Let's uh, I've got some sorrel in here actually up there Sorrel and some more lettuces. Let's go to the other greenhouse It is cold. It's been minus one in here so the keep small, minus one in here, minus two in the polytunnel, minus three outside in the garden. That's how roughly it works. So the greenhouses are the best. Wow, look, this one actually, it's a minus one and a half has been in here. Everything, everything looks looking bigger in here because what I've been doing, all these been, when I sow seeds, then uh, I wait till about a about couple of centimeters and then I separate them. So what I've done, I've separated this lot first, few weeks later I've separated what we've just seen in the greenhouse and another few weeks later what's in the potting shed. So the potting shed, it's a lot smaller than this. So that it's like, like a succession sowing, so it always got something. But yeah, this one is now ready to harvest. Look how beautiful. Lettuce and uh, fennel, beet leaves. This actually needs to go out to the polytunnel. It's supposed to go out ages ago. Swede. We've got some uh, majoram, the onion, more endive. It's onion all behind me. At broad beans, I had a bad. Well. One, two, three, four, five left out of all the broad beans. The mice had the rest, so I brought it in to give these five, six a chance. We've got uh, kale. All these are now we're eating. Lovely kale, all the mixed varieties. And yeah, that's it. We've got one more greenhouse. The Alex greenhouse, what... Uh, Need to be uh, need to sort that out, but because the, the polytunnel and the peach, the two of these greenhouses I've just shown you that's been all cleared inside and out, and uh, they are on my winter crop. This what this greenhouse has not been cleaned yet. This is still the summer summer version here, but what I'm really surprised. But it didn't have that much frost because the nasturtium is still doing great. So I think this keeps 
did really well. This this is the what also warm warm mist, but you know I think this is the this has been doing really good so far. It did any frost damage. But obviously I've still got tomatoes, a few cherry tomatoes left, but that needs really needs to clear this out now. Clear this out and the tomatillo. Tomatillo is still got a few there. I've got millions on it. But yeah, I just harvest what I can and that's the purple tomatillo. Harvest what I can, clear it out, mold it, clean the greenhouse inside and out, ready to go to start the spring sowing again. But because it's December, tomorrow, it's not much we can do. Bye-bye.